Welcome back to Living 8 Away, everybody. Now, today is International Choreographer's Day, and we are dancing our way into the fun with 24-7 Dance First Choreographer and UH Rainbow Dance Coach, Janelle Sankey, a.k.a. my friend. Hi, sis. How are Hello. you? I'm Good fantastic. To see you. Good to see you. I want to give you a hug, but then uh, my, my mic yeah. is not clipped properly to my pet, so I don't know if it's going to unplug. Yeah, yeah. So, so <laughs> we'll, we'll say this. But how have you been? How fantastic. have you been? Fantastic. You're dancing my way through life in the new year. I love it. I love it. Okay, well, let's let's start off with some dance history. Tell everybody a little bit about what got you into dance, because you you and I known each other for. I was thinking about this last night. Eleven years. Oh my goodness. Crazy. Times unreal. But you've been dancing since you were like a toddler. Yes. So How was that? I have been dancing since I was four years old. Okay. Trained in a local dance studio, ballet, tap, jazz, lyrical, hip hop, acrobatics, all the way work. through high school. Work. <laughs> yes. Um, danced competitively, and my first jobs were I danced professionally for okay. the Disneyland Resort. Yeah. And I was a choreographer awesome. at sixteen. You were in the parades, right? Yes. Oh, okay. 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 So, so you started at four. Yes. You. Uh, dance at, you know, Disney, you know, in, what, you said 16? Yes. Oh, my gosh, and then you just non-stopped. Non-stop. Like, okay, and what made you want to, like, dance, like, learn all of those dance genres? There's a discipline to dance that now, looking back on it, I'm just so appreciative of. Okay. Um, so when my parents enrolled me in dance, you know, it was something to get me moving, yeah. um, extracurricular activities, and it really became a part of who I am, my identity. Nice. Um, so even now, I choreograph, I teach, I coach. Perfect. Um, and dance is just a huge part of my life. Let's let's piggyback on the topic of coaching real quick. Um, UH Rainbow Warrior Dance Team. Go Bows. Go Bows. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, we're going to show pictures of that in a second how did you how did you start uh, working with them so I was a rainbow dancer myself in college okay and I was captain and then just over the last five years I have choreographed and coached the dance team and just really looking forward to all the seasons to come we perform or the dance team performs at football games and men's basketball nice I love it okay I, when we're looking at a video <laughs> look at that short hair that we just saw <laughs> how fun yeah um, okay so you you started off being on the dance team then you coached um, for all of our viewers out there that's listening for all of our you know aspiring dancers that want to get into dance um what's the biggest advice that you have for them don't hold back really right yes okay. only because like people hear music differently they move differently and that right now is really embraced mm. um, that helps you as a choreographer yeah. as a student to listen to the music and um, adapt and really do what makes you feel good right so right. not to be afraid so that's my advice is right. if you haven't taken a class or if you're looking to take new classes yeah don't be afraid try it out i i move differently with my dance moves because i have a couple knots on my back mm. so i can't <laughs> So I can't do, like, all the things that I used to do five years ago. But so fun. Okay, so uh, UH Rainbow Warriors dance team, uh, which a lot of them come from the 24-7 dance force, which you're, you know, a proud member of, a proud uh, coach at. Yes. Tell us about that. Yes, so I have been a choreographer for 24-7 dance force for 15 years now. Wow. Again, time is unreal. Shout out to Marcelo. Shout out to Marcelo. <laughs> um, Teaching there, choreographing there is incredibly fulfilling. Awesome. Really inspiring place. Some of the best dancers on our in our islands come right. from 24 7. Right. Um, they really challenge you to listen to music differently, challenge okay. your body, work with dancers of all different skill sets, and then put together something really beautiful. I love that. Yeah. And, and you teach the keiki, right? I do. Actually, I teach keiki all the way to some of the rainbow dancers you are still taking class. Awesome. And I've seen them from when they were four years old to now college age. You, you know, um, something that I'm, I'm learning just listening to you, you started when you were four years old, you know what I mean? And, and now you're still doing it. So I think another thing that a lot of people should keep in mind is that the fact that it's not a one-time thing you know dancing it's it's, it's muscle it's mus it's you know it's 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 muscle memory mm -hmm. it's something that you got to keep doing like when you work out you can't just like do one set and think all right cool i'm a bodybuilder you got to just keep doing it right so that's amazing it's a practice and then i mean like so much comes out of it you yeah. know like it's a practice it's something you can lean on i mean i don't know how many times probably just you yourself you've been like can you just do a, a kick for me can you just dance for me <laughs> yeah. you know and like i feel really proud that i'm able to do that but it comes from practice yeah yeah, yeah. i love it okay so um you know we, we have a lot of mutual friends in common shout out to cheyenne shout out to you know everybody at the 24 7 dance force um now they were saying that there there's such a different mentality when taking a class and then teaching it mm. what is something that 
do, do you would you rather take a class or would you rather teach it? I mean, what, what's your mentality on both? Ooh. Um, in this current space, I think I would rather teach a class okay. because I like the process of listening to music, finding the intricacies, like picking out what I want to emphasize and right. move to. Okay. Um, and I only say that I'd rather teach a class because taking a class is also a practice. And I feel a little, mm -hmm. um, like I want to sharpen that for myself. Yeah, 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 I like that. I like that. Okay, so like we said, it's muscle memory. Um, and speaking of classes, you guys are currently in class, getting ready for an upcoming show. It's on your shirt. It says collab. Yes. What is collab? Tell us about that. So collab is a dance concert where we invite different dance studios, teams across the island to participate. Uh -huh. And it's a ah. community collab, a collaboration <laughs> of, of dance studios all throughout the island okay. so that they can showcase what they've been working out, working on throughout the year. I love that. That's super exciting. We're looking at videos. We're looking at pictures. This, look at you. You're so into it, and I love it. Is this is this at the Castle High School uh, Theater? Where was that taken? Yes, that okay. was at Castle. No, no, that was Paliku Theater. Oh, Paliku. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. But you guys are still based out of Windward. Correct. Okay, perfect. And if anybody wanted to take classes, you know, learn a little bit more about 24-7, what they offer, how can they do so? Yes. So if you'd like to take classes, 247dance.org okay. has all of the information. Um, okay. And any interested studios that want to participate in Colab can email Kaulana. Perfect. Okay, are we ready? Aloha at torchhawaii.com. Aloha at torchhawaii.com. And don't worry, you guys, we're going to have more information on kh22.com. I'll write a little something, something so that our viewers can, you know, catch up to speed with you. This is exciting. Um, I'm so proud of you, Janelle. Thank you. Thank you for coming on Living Away. I know you have a really busy life, uh, but thank you for coming on to Living Away, taking time out of your busy schedule to come on. Uh, but you guys, Janelle, she's not going to be going anywhere soon because when we come back, she's going to be back with me with some dance moves. Okay, Get so stretched. I have no idea what's happening. We're going to get ready for that.